Hi, um, question for Mr. Gary, um, Geraldine from um, Cirrus Media. What do you think are the building's greatest architectural achievements and how do you think it adds to the Sydney landscape? Well, one of the greatest architectural achievements, it's got built on time and on budget. <laughs> 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 Which is, I think most people, if you ask them, if, if they didn't know, you asked them if it was expensive or more expensive, they would say yes, just looking at it. And some people would say it's an architectural tour de force by an architect's ego on the outside, it has nothing to do with the inside. And some people would say that uh, uh, it's all about the architect. We did spend a lot of time with Roy Green and his faculty and uh, Chancellor Sarah. And we talked about, we had the experience of doing one business school and uh, that they had seen and, and the faculties compared notes. And uh, the idea of creating an open system, and this one went f much further than the one in the other one. Uh, the, the, the faculty at the other school created a, a wrote a book about the process, the open process that we created to build these buildings as a model for business. And, and I think as, as an as a architect, artist, whatever I am, I also run a business. And I'm very clear about the need to be fast on your feet, open to change, and to have a building that's uh, not fixed that has the opportunity for moving walls, knocking things out easily, changing. We have a few fixed points that are kind of uh, uh, the, the, the oval room, the terraces, the opportunities for, for uh, meetings and so on. And uh, then the rest is pretty open-ended. So uh, I guess this room is probably the most conventional part. <laughs> We needed one. Anchor. 